Labour union members from Korea's largest automaker Hyundai Motor began a two-day partial strike starting Tuesday. The strike is seen as a move to pressure the company before the two sides meet for talks this Wednesday. Yulian reports. Members of the 45,000-strong Hyundai Motor Union will set aside their tools for two hours on Tuesday and Wednesday. The union workers will split into two groups and alternate taking part in a two-hour strike over the two days. And on Wednesday, the union leaders are set to meet with company officials to continue negotiations. The union says they decided to go on a strike because there has been no progress in the ongoing talks. But Hyundai expressed disappointment over the strike and especially the timing of it, as the company's operating profits have dropped by 28 percent in the first half of the year, compared to the same period last year. The union refused the Central Labor Relations Committee's recommendation to look for a compromise and went on strike. We express regret over the union's decision, given our efforts to continue talks. The union has laid out about 70 demands to the automaker, which include 8,900 U.S. dollars to support job-seeking children who do not go to college, a little over $100 raise in monthly base income, as well as a 35 percent discount off of Hyundai cars for long-term employees. Hyundai's massive strike last year halted production of more than 82-thousand cars, which amounts to about one and a half billion U.S. dollars. But analysts say another extensive strike is unlikely this year, given the negative impacts that the continued strikes had on the company's output as well as reputation. Yudian, Arirang News.